Hello dear Leo, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all that you've done for all of 2018. This is your last reading for the 15th of December for this year. When I say last reading, I mean because it's the end of uh, December. So it's the mid-year reading of December 2018. I will be doing um, readings for 2019. So look out for those before the end of the year. I'm doing the Divine Spread and this is obviously the, the cards that I'm taking now. I'm taking your Divine Message, your Karma Dharma Message. And this is a Love and General Reading, dear Leo. Let's see which is your message, which is the Karma Dharma Position. And I'm actually using the Mystical Tarot by Giuliano Costa. Okay, it's an Italian deck. It's glorious to use. I love the depictions on it. It's very different and it's new. So let's see what we have for Leo, Spirit Guides and Angels. Please, can I have the messages? No, Leo. Looks like the Divine wants me to take the card and I see it here. Leo, you've got the moon. Hmm. And the moon is the mother. It, the moon is our foundation. It's, for me, the moon card is Cancer. And um, even though a lot of people say that this is Piscean energy, that could be the case. We've got Pisces on here. But, you know, as you all know, we read the cards intuitively. That's why I say that uh, because the moon rules the fourth house of Cancer, that's why I say that this is it. We're talking about your foundation. We're talking about your intuition, which is heightened at this time. Now, we've got a full moon in Cancer. On the 22nd, we've got the summer, uh, summer solstice um, in the southern hemisphere, the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere on the 21st. And um, a lot is happening. You know, there's a lot of Sagittarian energy right now where Mercury and Jupiter will be meeting in the sky. Um, and that's going to take place in about five days. That's going to be interesting because conversations, that's what Mercury is all about. Conversations will be had, happy conversations, I want to say, because of Sagittarius, truthful conversations, expansive and beneficial conversations. And... Um, you know, with the full moon that's happening in Cancer, where the North Node is, um, this is a time of, you know, culmination. It's a time of, as I said, strong intuition, family matters, as well as motherhood matters, issues. Now, this could be a card of fear as well. So don't let that um, drive you. It's also a very emotional time. Anything to do with water, as you can see, the waterfall here, there is a lot of emotion in this card. Okay, so there's news that's coming through with all these birds that are flying in, and they are bats, as you can see here. But there's a light coming off them, so... Now, you may receive messages through your sleep, through your dreams, so pay attention. It looks as though the news is coming through two pillars. And, you know, that's like, it's as though the light of the moon is reflecting. You know, the light of the moon is reflecting through this, through this mirror, whatever it is. So this is a reflection. Now, reflecting, looking back at the mirror, looking at your reflection, looking at um, because the moon is dark, looking at your shadow side, looking at the shadow side 
of someone else. Let's see what the rest of the reading shows. I'm trying to pick up on what's happening with this moon card. Wow, these cards really don't want to come out, so I'm going to use them. Let's cut the rest of the cards for Leo, mid-December. Let's put them here and I will take this as your foundation card, which is the Four of Pentacles. What is hidden from your sight is the Death card, Scorpio. So there is a deep transformation going on here. Something is changing. Next, and that's in the recent past, we've got we've got the High Priestess. She is the Moon Goddess. And the next card, which is the Now Position, we've got the card of the Hierophant. Now, two very similar energies, the High Priestess and the High Priest. Usually when I see these two together, they are a couple. Um, they're very spiritually bound, intertwined, very strong intuition between these two. Let's take some more cards, crowning your reading. And I did cut the cards, but I felt I needed to shuffle some more. Let me cut them again. So, Leo, Leo. Crowning your reading and your goal is the Seven of Cups, which is very Piscean, Neptune. Now, Neptune is in Pisces. Now, this could speak of, of course, choices, but also illusions, disillusioned being disillusioned by something or just having many choices. Let's see what the action or advice is. Wow, the wheel of fortune. Love it. Sagittarian energy. This is Jupiter. The outcome, dear Leo, is the six of pentacles, which is the energy of Libra. Now in the divine position and what is happening planetarily for you, Leo, you've got the ace of cups. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's take a Black Moon Astrology card for more clarity, more information. Leo, 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 Leo. Water Element Sensing. Water, element, and sensing. Now it's a number 40, which breaks down to a four. Family situations, home, um, cancer, dealing with a Cancerian sun, moon, or rising. Pisces is very prominent here. So is Scorpio. All the water signs are here. Sun, moon, or rising. And this could be your partner. This could also be your energy. You may have strong um, strong water. Now, when I look at this card here, as you can see, it's a triangle, right? It's like the, um, it's like the, the grand trine, grand trine that I've spoken about recently, which is three very positive, um, transits, let's say. Okay. So, Three trines join together, which become a water trine. Now, trines are very beautiful, flowing energy. They're very positive. They're very positive. And if we are talking, since we are talking about water element, water is very flowing. It's very intuitive, strong intuition here, as well as strong emotions. And that's what Cancer is all about. The North Node is in Cancer. One moment. Dear Leo, dear Leo, today is another day. I am sorry about the pause. If you actually rewind um, to about nine minutes and something of this video, you will notice that 
you may even hear a loud cry, um, a shout. Um, nevertheless, we had a few dramas here. Um, someone's broken their toe and we had to rush off to the hospital. Now, I didn't want to trash your your reading because it was, you know, what it was. So I thought I would continue it. I will take a card on each of these cards that I've already shown to you from yesterday. So I wasn't able to work on it. It's been about 24 hours. It's another day. As I said, the message is the same. I believe that when I shuffle the messages that were meant to come out will come out. Let's take another card on each of the cards. So yeah, I had a bit of a tower moment last night. And um, yeah, just realizing how how difficult sometimes life can be. Yeah, you just have to go with it and keep going. Leo, Leo, today is the 17th of December 2018. Let's take more cards for you. So this reading may be a little bit longer than the other ones. If you are watching your Sun, Moon or Rising, let's start from the bottom again at the root issue. So we've got the Four of Pentacles and your card, the Strength card here. Now in the hidden position, along with the death card, we've got the two of cups. Wow. Two of cups. Interesting. In the recent past with a high priestess, we've got the page of cups. With the hierophant in the now position, you have the nine of pentacles. Crowning your reading with a Seven of Cups is the Ten of Swords. Next to the Wheel of Fortune is the Page of Wands, which is the Minor Arcana for the Fool. That's how I see this card. Now, the outcome with the Six of Pentacles is the Four of Cups. And next to the Ace of Cups in the Divine Position, we've got the Six of Cups. My computer just stopped. The Water Element Sensing, along with this card, let's take one more. So, one more card for Leo. Please, thank you. We've got the fourth house and roots, which is the house of cancer. Very interesting. So fourth house as well as the water element, a lot of emotional um, situations through family, your foundation. We've got the, the tree here, the family tree. So that's a card of health as well. It's a card of like the tree also shows, um, also speaks of the family, the foundation, the generations, which is the roots, of course, your roots. And we've got a bird with a nest right there. As you can see, this is beautiful, this depiction. Right in the middle of the tree there, we've got a newborn child. This is beautiful. Now, oh my God, who was it that had take the, um, it was Capricorn, I think, uh, take the offer of a new life. I think it was the uh, Capricorn's video. Was it Capricorn or was it Cancer? Let me just check for you a second. Oh, dear me. It was Aquarius. It was not Capricorn or Cancer. It was Aquarius. Let me take one more uh, Karma Dharma card. Leo, Spirit Guides and Angels. 
Leo. And we've got the devil. <laughs> I just mentioned Capricorn and here is the devil, which is the card of Capricorn. <sighs> okay, interesting, very interesting indeed. Here, I would say, um, because the moon card for me speaks of cancer, it's the moon, and the moon um, rules the house of cancer, which is the fourth house of the fourth house of roots, family, parents, home. And this card is a number 28, which equals a three. Three is a card of expansion. It's the number of the Empress. And we've got a newborn here. So some of you, congratulations. If you are expanding your family, becoming a parent, it is, it is destined to happen at this time because we've got the fourth house of Cancer and we've got Capricorn, which is, you know, the North Node is in Cancer south node is in capricorn these are the moon's nodes and they are destiny we're already in the energies of the eclipse time because eclipse energies can start a month before let's say for the solar eclipse on the fifth um the solar eclipse on the fifth uh is we're already, what's today, the 17th, we're very close, like three weeks away. Yeah, so there is drastic change here, dear Leo, drastic change. Okay, so we've got the signs, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn. We've got... As I've said here with the high priest and the high priestess in the recent past and the now position I feel as though this is a couple these two people if they are people and we've got Taurus here with the Hierophant and the high priestess is the Axis Virgo Pisces as well as Right next to the card of the High Priestess, we've got the Page of Cups, which is Piscean energy. And next to the card of Taurus, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, which I say is Virgo energy. So we've got Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. There is strong Piscean energy here because we've got the Page of Cups as well as the Seven of Cups which is crowning your reading and the Seven of Cups we know is a card of disillusion. It's a card of having choices but it's also uh, a card of things being up in the air. You know you're being given chances. Sevens are always the number of the divine for me and that's your goal. Here we've got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Swords is air element, the air element. So Aquarius, Gemini or Libra energies. And also the Tens break down to a One. So look at the background. Look at what's happening in the horizon. You know, this is a magical time. Know that whatever is ending for you, because this breaks down to the Ace of Swords. Whatever you are beginning, you've got choices. And I believe that the lack of clarity that you have with the Seven of Cups, I do believe that the Divine is actually going to give you the clarity. And that could happen around the full moon in Cancer on the 22nd, roughly, of this month. Full moon in Cancer. It's, you know, some sort of a culmination, a situation coming to a completion. Okay, you will be receiving the reflection. Here it's like there is a mirror and the light is bouncing off the mirror. That's what the moon does, doesn't it? So the information will come through. I do believe that there is strong intuition here with the water element. You're sensing that something is changing uh, 
quite rapidly. And why I'm talking about change is that, and things are changing around your foundation, I would say. So the notes, which is the fourth house, your foundation, your family, your parents. And opposite to that is the south node, which is your career. Capricorn is the house of career, um, the authoritarian. That's where Pluto is and that's where Saturn is. Saturn says you stick to your guns, you work hard. Pluto says you're going to transform. There is a change. Now Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio in the hidden position. We've got the sign, the card of Scorpio, major arcana, death and transformation. So we've got Taurus Scorpio axis as well. And on top of the death card, we've got the two of cups. So there is a major death and transformation, a change within a relationship, a partnership, a any sort of relationship I would you know, want to say, you know, anything to do with family members, anything to do with a romantic situation, a committed long-standing partnership, um, as well as for those of you that are single, I would say, because what you don't know here in the hidden position is that if you were dealing with one of the signs that I've already mentioned, and I'm going to say sun, moon or rising, of course, what we don't have here, uh, no, I'm, I, I'm actually wrong, we've got everything here. The, the least amount of energy is the air element here which is only the Ten of Swords that we've got here. So I was going to say we don't have a lot of fire, but we do. We've got a fair bit of fire because we've got the card of Jupiter, which is Sagittarius. So the change is coming through. There's two tens right here. So we've got your goal is a completion and, you know, the, the wheel is turning. Destiny is happening here with the Wheel of Fortune and you know with the end of the year usually the ending of the year as well as the you know moving into a new year it's the solstice it's as though we're beginning a brand new year um, before the year actually changes and right next to you know the energy of Sagittarius which is where the Sun is you know we're still in the time of Sagittarius the Sun is at 25 almost 26 degrees of Sag and that means that it is um, close to the degree, of course, of the nodes because the nodes are at 27 degrees. And next to the Wheel of Fortune is the Page of Wands, which is like beginning a new journey, going on that adventure. That's what Sag is. Now, you guys, we've almost got, uh, in about four days, we're having Mercury meeting up with Jupiter. So that is uh, communications, pleasant, um, grandiose, extravagant, as well as very truthful conversations. Now, what is so exciting is that Venus is at 10 degrees of Scorpio, which says that she's on new turf. She's She's starting to cover new ground. She's just come out of her shadow and she's forming this beautiful trine across to... My computer just stopped. I'm so sorry. I don't know why that happens sometimes. I was saying that Venus is the lower octave of Neptune and they're forming a beautiful trine. Venus in Scorpio, Neptune in um, Pisces and it's its home sign. Um, so... Beautiful, beautiful. Now, Neptune can also be those rose-colored glasses. Um, but because it's moving direct, I believe that with the Ace of Swords on top of the Seven of Cups, you will receive the clarity because Mercury, the messenger of the gods, is meeting up with Jupiter. Okay, so the messages are coming through big time. Truth is being revealed with Sagittarius. They're all about the truth and seeing the bigger, grand picture, okay? Now, 
here we've got so you're starting that new adventure some of you are traveling literally with the wheel of fortune and um, the page of wands there is some sort of message that's coming through and it could be a message which brings the clarity that you can now move forward and you're going to move forward passionately now the message could be coming through from a Leo Sun Moon or Rising here in the outcome we've got the six of Pentacles which is the energy of Libra and I said we don't have a lot of air but we've got Libra here um, so this is equal giving and receiving as we could see the scales that are being held by this person who is giving help financial um, financial help and it is a time of giving in this season right now just before Christmas so the advice here is if you can give to the less fortunate please do that you know the um, the universe will help give that back to you tenfold but then we've got the four of cups and fours always speak of family and home so there is an offer and with this card here he looks as though, this man looks as though he's either sleeping or he's, I don't know, I'm really like, he looks as though he's having a nap, so he's taking time out. He's obviously tired, he's sitting beneath a, um, maybe there was too much celebration in the past with those three of cups. He's sitting beneath that tree and here comes this ace of cups from out of nowhere. So there's been some sort of celebration around your home your your family your foundation um, and now there is some sort of a new beginning we've got the ace of cups right here in the divine position and you know what I think that if you've been giving to others who were less fortunate and this also could mean that there's been a lot of work you've been working very hard For those of you that have been working hard there is a new offer on the table. Now here we've got the Six of Cups and Six is always a number of balance. Um, the Ace of Cups is beginning something new. Look at that dove. Love is coming through for my dear Leos. So happy to see that. Now there could be someone coming back from the past. Six of Cups is, you know, back in those days when there was more innocence, when it was more of a childlike energy. Um, there was more joy, um, more trust, okay, things were simpler back then. These days, you know, life has gotten really, you know, really, really hard and for a lot of people, you know, it's as though we're being put through tests um, and tests again with Saturn in Capricorn, Pluto in Capricorn, which is, you know, authority. It's, it's, Capricorn is also your boss you know it's the authoritarian it's the the elder we're going through major lessons so the next um, next roughly roughly seven um, 16 17 months where the nodes are in cancer and Capricorn we're supposed to focus more on family and not so much on work so we've got the aces of cups are coming through and if we look at these three on the three cards we've got a cup being being handed on each of these cards as you can see see that so again three of cups again three of cups it's as though and I'm gonna say this that because the wheel keeps turning I feel as though there's been um, wow look at that there's that fourth cup that's being offered four cups four cups and two more here six a six of cups now some of you are dealing with someone from the past others of you there are children on the horizon either children that come from a partner or these are your children or you may have been dealing with this person this soul from an, another lifetime now there's strong intuition here as I've said water element this looks like a grand trine 
energy for me which is very flowing recently we've had a major um, aspect like this in the sky a grand trine in water and that was that was going for about 10 11 days so I do believe that the offers and as I said six cups so the universe is trying to give you balance here it's trying to bring in a twin flame a soulmate as I said here this is a couple we've got a karmic couple here both very spiritually aligned we've got the soulmate card which is the two of cups and we've got the six of cups which is very similar to the two of cups so some of you may have someone may have been dealing with someone who was quite the devil in your life it was a difficult energy that you could not get out of for those of you that are changing partners changing careers whatever the case there is some sort of an ending here because of backstabbing because of words that have been very hurtful because of an illusion someone you know pulling the 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 wool over your eyes but you need to go with your intuition because you've got the energy to do that we've got the high priestess here she's a number two okay going through that new doorway two pillars here look at that both these cards both these um, characters sit between those two pillars now with this page of uh, page of cups in the recent past maybe this an offer has come through which you are not sharing with others maybe this is and I feel that this is your energy the uh, you know the high priestess um, maybe the offer has come through and or maybe you're sensing that the offer is going to come through and this is an offer that you know is unexpected right there is a lot of emotion look at the way he's handing that cup to the high priestess so much water here so much here we've got the hierophant which is a number five I do believe that this is more than likely um, the person that you're wanting to commit to and this could be a Taurus this could be um, now I'm gonna say because because the Hierophant is very restrictive sometimes energy because of religion because of childhood condition or conditioning your upbringing your family situation there are some sort of uh, bonds and um, restrictions here but also the Hierophant does speak of religious um, upbringing your belief system which is very Sagittarian again now here with the nine of Pentacles this is one card before the ten nine of Pentacles if this is career says that yeah very you know your routine your because Virgo is what you do day to day it's also health of course but um, your routine and looking at the details and working very hard just like Capricorn does so does Taurus all earth signs are very stable you know this is success now if you are actually working not on your financial situation but on getting to a commitment getting someone to commit to you or you know you're putting money aside because you're planning on if this is your energy you're hoping to commit um, or to get to the steps of the church you know um, you're wanting to build on a family to commit and start having a family then this is looking you know very grandiose so if we look at the number five what comes in is the nine so you're one step before the ten we've got great promise though here with the newborn whatever the newborn is if it's not a child um, then it is a new situation within a family okay now here at the uh, root of your reading we've got 
the strength card, which says that you need to have trust. You've got the courage. You can do this. You're, sta you're looking fantastic. And um, let's say because you are sun, moon or rising, um, for those of you that are dealing with someone who's got sun, moon or rising, Leo, and I'm saying sun because you could be cross-watching, um, the Four of Pentacles for me is it's someone who's being very careful with their heart, very careful indeed. They're um, being quite, you know, they've been holding back. It's as though they're fighting with their own, um, with themselves. They're trying to hold back on something, holding back on their feelings, holding back on their finances, holding back on their, you know, whatever, again, is happening within a family situation. Four of Pentacles is someone who is very held back. They feel as though they don't have enough, and it could be enough TLC, tender loving care. Um, they haven't had enough finances. They're not able to grow on a family situation. Now, with the Strength card, and Leo is all about true love, children, taking a risk, um, as well as joy, happiness. I feel as though some of you, if you are dealing with a Taurian, maybe they've been the one that's been holding back because this for me is usually the energy of Taurus. Um, could be the case or it just could be another earth sign, Capricorn or even Virgo, that have been holding back. But as I said, what you don't know is what is around the corner there is a massive change now Venus is in Scorpio it's time to you know for conversations that should have been had in the past are being being done now if you know conversations are opening up new doors for you you've been working on anything to do with Scorpio and Venus Venus is um, you know in Scorpio she's very uh, she can be quite vindictive, especially when she's retrograde. Now she's moving direct, so I feel as though there's a different energy, especially having Jupiter, which it's in its home sign of Sag, Mercury going direct. The sun is there, very happy times. All the planets are moving direct except for Uranus right now, and that's going to change quite soon. And I would say, yeah, around this, it's at 29 degrees. So if I'm not mistaken, 6th or 7th of January, it will be moving direct. So let's take some uh, Sabilas right now. Let's take some Sabilas and get a bit more clarity. What a reading this was. Now, for some reason, with the Four of Cups here, for some reason, I feel as though one person has been giving and another has been holding back. There's another four here. But you know, with the four of cups, the cards that I just took, the extra cards, um, I would say they're more for clarity because the main cards are the ones that were put down, that were laid down first. What I want to look at first of all is the karma dharma position i want to bring to your attention the cage here this person is sitting in a cage but the door is open so it's saying that it is your choice to come out of what is what you are fearful of you know the moon card can speak of fears your darkest fears are coming up to the surface and if we look at the fire, it looks so much like the Ace of Pentacles here. So someone is very frightened of beginning something new, frightened of actually taking the plunge of beginning a new family, beginning a new business. You know, this is the time of... Um, Sagittarius, which is the adventure you need to spread your wings. And Sag speaks of, you know, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. 
it's a 10 which breaks down to the one okay so what is the one it's the magician communication very important you need to have those conversations fear can be the worst thing let's take three Sibylas here we've got Namika which is the female enemy now she's taking off a mask so something is coming to light now she's a number 12 which is the energy of the hanged man this could also be a female which which is showing their true colors at this time so let's see De falsita which is deception and it's a number four so fours always speak of home and family now the hanged man could speak of time with with uh, Kronos which is um, Saturn in Capricorn time can be quite you know um, slow moving Saturn's lessons are very slow Saturn is a slow moving um, energy but know that when you get to the other side with Saturn when you've done the right thing then come in you know comes in what comes in uh, longevity positivity um, stability okay so Saturn gives a lot of um, accolades if you've put in the work let's see what this deception is and we've got Allegresa al cuore which is usually this is happiness of the heart so finding out the um, the deception whatever the deception was now this could have been a, a family member as well someone who is a female in your family could have been quite deceptive here we've got three people that are dancing around and threes in my readings you know what they can mean they can mean a love triangle but I don't feel it on a strong level for a lot of you this is just the clarity that comes through the information that comes through um, you need to trust that it's going to get you to a good place um, and I'm gonna take one more Sabila on that actually no not a Sabila I'm gonna take a tarot card on that I will come back to that in a minute Wow okay so on top of the ace of cups fell the superbia which can be a card of ego but it can also be something wonderful coming through let's take another card we've got Gran Consolazione which is a card of bliss it's like the ten of cups okay everything that you've imagined you can manifest very similar to the seven of cups but this is the most positive Sibylla in the deck it's a seven again let's take another card and we've got the Speranza which is the card of hope Speranza can be a, an energy of fear as well but mainly I see it as the card of hope some of you are hoping that someone comes back and offers you their cup from the past for those of you that this is not the past someone from the past this relationship if this is a new relationship then there's going to be a lot of trust now some of you may have been hurt in the past not may have been there is something that you've gone through where there's been deceptive energy but you come out all okay because the wheel of fortune is right next to it know that what finished was destined to let's look at the high priestess first with the page of cups the delta loyalty prigione there's like the devil card the chains that are binding you and keeping you in in the dark um, Capricorn okay whatever obligations uh, are holding you back maybe you've got a sense of loyalty to someone or something this could be to a friend this could be to a commitment of any sort let's take one more and we've got a Mika which is a friend a confidant now this is called Armonia which is um, harmony and this is like the balancing out of the scales now this is someone that you confide to that you speak openly to again it's a number four 
So there is some sort of a commitment that you feel you are bound by, so you are loyal to some situation, but those chains will be severed, severed I would say, with the amika through a friend, through confiding in someone, through being loyal, I think that you will be receiving the the payback. I want to say it like that. So because the Amica is like the energy of Libra, it's justice. Your loyalty to whatever you felt um, you needed to be there for someone, for something, that loyalty will bring in the return for you. So again, what you've given out is coming back. Let's look at the Hierophant and Nine of Pentacles. And we've got Pensiero, which is like the Hermit. This is someone who is thinking very strongly about being able to commit. Maybe it's someone who's been, you know, standing alone, being able to provide for themselves. And this is quite a change. And I've said that for another sign. I'm not quite sure who it is. Militare, which is the like the energy of Capricorn. This is, you know, secrets. Uh, maybe the skeletons that are coming out of the closet. Whatever you're learning about here with the Namika, um, may be a little bit hard. But you know, this is the mountain ahead. You've got the ability, and this is a ten. So this is the end of that. This is the end of that. And the 10 is on top of the 9 of Pentacles. Here we've got the Giovina Fanciulla, which is the pure energy, the virgin, and the newness. And this comes after a little bit of time because this is a 12, just like the Hanged Man. Now the Hanged Man is very Piscean. It's putting in the hard work. It's Sometimes it can be the victim mentality. Um... But it can also be being enlightened, you know, with the pensiero, which is very similar to the hermit. You will be enlightened. Now, the pensiero can also be a solicitor. Someone who is enlightening you. Now, this could be your energy you are going within and looking for um, information. Um, this could also be, uh, you know, another spiritual guru that you are um, being advised by. And this could be a confession. Wow. That's what it is, Leo. It's a confession. It's a confession that's happening. Let me take the Seven of Cups and that Ten of Swords. Oh, oh, okay. La reunion. Reunion. The meeting. Sacerdote, which is the hierophant. This is the priest. Number 13, which is the, num the number of the death. Death card. Sacerdote is the priest. And here we've got the Gran Signore, which again is the number 13. Okay, I'm going to take one more tarot card up here because this is in the area of your goal. The Gran Signore is very, very similar to the King of Cups, which could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Scorpio is more than likely, Sun, Moon or Rising. And it's funny that Scorpio and Taurus has been mentioned. Some of you may have your North and South node there, Taurus and Scorpio. I want to look at the... Uh, Card of Scorpio and the Two of Cups. We've got Conversazione, Pleasant Conversations. This is like the Ace of Cups. Conversations around the table. La Matrici, which is like the uh, Queen of Wands. She's a 12. There's... 12 is a, quite a significant number for you, dear, dear Leo. 12. 
which adds up to a three. Three would be very, um, ooh, very interesting for you as well because the fourth house here adds up to a three as well. So we've got the woman lover. She's holding something very precious. She's a very passionate queen here. And she's got the Fortuna, which is the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a cycle. This is a new cycle that you are entering in. Jupiter is bringing, could be bringing in information, health, um, clarity, children, warmth, truth. Um, there may be, um, you know, because Sagittarius is the teacher as well as the student, um, Sagittarius is usually the guru because it's the house of higher education. Now the opposite sign to that is Gemini, which is, uh, you know, the house of knowledge. It's, you know, it's the first years of school, whereas Sag is the higher education part of the zodiac. Now, what else it's, is it bringing in? There's one thing that I'm missing. I'm just, yeah, foreign places and people um, traveling to foreign places and countries. Okay, so this is beautiful. Now I'm going to take those tarot cards that I said I will take extra. One on the um, card of the La Reunion, the Sacerdote, the Gran Signore. Now the Sacerdote could be the man who stands alone, He's someone who's been you know, a could be female or male, doesn't really matter. Someone who's been living alone, you know, they have not committed to someone. Maybe there was an illusion. Maybe they had a disillusion about commitments. That could be just a thought process that is changing. Let's take one card on that. And the Gran Signore is the abundant king, the noble. Let's take one card and we've got the Eight of Swords. What did I say about fear? Feeling as though um, they are stuck, not being able to move. Again, intuition is very important at this time and we need to use that energy. The water element, sensing. Wow, okay. Wow, all right. So on top of the Wheel of Fortune, is the judgment card and karma is here this is an awakening this is Pluto this is the Archangel this is the Eclipse this is the Eclipse Leo listen to me January is going to be very pivotal for a lot of you now this is a general reading of course a general reading but because it's there it's eclipse season most of us are affected by the eclipses others more than um, others all right let's take one card on the uh, karma dharma position and I will be finishing up your reading we've got the eight of Pentacles here again very Capricornian isn't it working very hard Whatever the moon and devil card are, as I said, it is the north and south node. I feel as though you are working towards a family situation. That's what the Eight of Pentacles is. Others of you should be leaving behind um, what you've been working really hard, like career and all that, moving into, again, um, cancer, which is the home and family. Let me take one more. And we've got the page, no, the Knight of Wands. Again, very Sagittarian. Look at the uh, falling star. Make a wish, dear Leo. And look at that rainbow. So this could mean quick energy, quick movement. Again, travel. Very passion. Strong passions here. And Sagittarius, again, we're in the time of Sag. So you're putting in the hard work to culminate whatever this karma dharma position means for you. Let's take one more card 
and I want to look at the um, outcome position. Wow. <laughs> the Hermit, number nine. Okay, again, Virgo. So Virgo is sun, moon, or rising. All the signs that I've said here, I would say, are sun, moon, or rising. So the offer is being looked at very closely. For those that I said someone has been giving more than the other person, there is deep contemplation here. And again, the outcome is that we're one step before that wheel of fortune, which is in the advice and action to take. Yes, go within, become the spiritual guru, know what you're going to do, what are the next steps that you're going to take. The offer is coming through though. And look at this. We've got a hawk in the background. Today, dear Leo, today in the afternoon, there was a hawk, an eagle. You know how they fly above, you know, in circles. It was going and around and around and around and I was just watching it. I'm, I'm fascinated by these birds. I really am. And it's funny because I'm a Virgo. Now, my moon is in Leo. So this hawk, this uh, eagle has got a, a bird's eye view of the world. So there is information coming through. Now, which sign is it? Let me just look at the... Um, because I do, I tend to get mixed up with the world card. So we've got, mm, yeah, yeah. With the world card, we've got the four fixed signs, right? So we've got Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. Now, Leo, Aquarius is where the 21st of January eclipse will be. Um, but then Taurus and Scorpio are the other two fixed signs that can be quite difficult to to make to move. Um, the hawk, the eagle here, is the sign of Scorpio. So again, with this eagle, this sign here, Scorpio is transformation. Venus is where Scorpio is. Scorpio is all about intimacy, other people's money, moving in together with someone and sharing on a deeper level. It's the house of intimacy, of course, as I said, and things that are, can be revealed at this time. So, dear Leo, wow, what a message I have for you this time. Scorpio, judgment, being given a second chance, whatever's been dead is coming to life. Take this chance, grab it, and run, Leo. Grab, grab it by the hair and run. <laughs> That's a Greek saying. <laughs> Alright, so I will leave you with that. I will be uploading some more readings just before the end of the year. Jupiter in the signs um, as well as 2019 readings. Do look out for those. If you haven't pressed on the little bell, please do so. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. Good luck to all of you, amazing reading for you, sending you lots of love, dear people, and thank you so much for that patience. Bye for now.